guys welcome back to another vlog so it is currently 7 15 and it's dark outside i cannot believe it's flipping dark outside i didn't do much today i'm still kind of trying to get not jet lag and i'm also trying to beat a sinus infection i should probably go to the grocery store however I'm not too hungry and I'm lazy, so I'm probably not gonna do that. I also don't really feel like cooking, so I clean my coat room. So I have this whole coat room, which is a mess. All those coats still on there are still my mom's, so I'm going to, she didn't take them when she moved out, so I'm going to pack them all up and put them in storage or bring them to her. She has so many coats. And then I have all of this stuff that I need to figure out. I wanna clean this up so I'm able to walk in. I don't need all of this stuff. It's a waste of space because this is a huge coat closet. I can literally put like so much stuff in here, but I can't fit anything in here because there's just so much wasted space. So right now I'm going through all of my jackets for the fall since it's officially jacket season. This is a really cute teddy coat from ASOS. I honestly didn't get to wear this that much last year, but I'm so excited to wear it this year. It's from Aloe Yoga. It's like a really pretty rose gold color. This is just like a little, This is it's too cold for this now, but it was in there. Like honestly, I did forgot I even had this. This is from Shein. I didn't wear this ever. This is from ASOS. It's a really pretty, um, like not distressed, but black denim. Shein and then over here I have this coat from Zara which is like my winter coat I really really like this coat it has a hole on the sleeve I think I super glued it <laughs> and then I have this was like my favorite coat last year from uh, Misguided if they have it I will link it down below just because it is so freaking warm and so long and I love it I wore it so much I also have it in black this one from Forever 21, and this one from H&M. My, geez, what is this even called? I forgot, I forgot what these jackets were called. So I didn't wear this much last year, but I'm excited to wear it more this year. So you guys know, like, you know, it's just such a busy day. So productive. I wore my um, Balenciaga Triple S running shoes for the first time in a long time today. And they're a lot more comfortable than I remember. The first time I put them on, I thought they, like, weighed, like, 20 pounds. And I'm wearing a sweater from Zara. And these leggings from Fabletics, which are my absolute favorite. I wear them all the time. I wear them more than my Lululemon. It's not sponsored. I'm back with an update just to tell you guys that i'm ordering mucho burrito which is basically like my version of or canada's version or quebec's version of chipotle because we don't have chipotle here excuse me why are you hitting do you want to show everyone how you lie down and sit because you're the best boy in the whole world i like to give leo positive words of affirmation so that he knows up oh, you're not supposed to be here so that he knows he is the smartest best boy He learned how to lie down and this is a big thing because if you know Leo, you know he's like the most stubborn dog. Okay, come here. Come here. Come in front of the camera. Show mommy how you sit. Sit down. Oh, I can't even say it. Can you come over here so we can show them that you actually listen to me? Sit. Late. Okay. See, well, he used to not know how to do any of that. And my boyfriend taught him and very thankful because he was like a little maniac before, and now he's like <laughs> a little angel. So I'm ordering a quesadilla, and I'm also ordering a Diet Coke. Ooh, there's a Diet Dr. Pepper. Do I want that? No, I want Diet Pepsi. Anyways, Uber is gonna be the death of me because I'm the laziest person in the world. But also, like I said, I don't know if I said this, but um, when I go to groceries, it always costs me more because I always go when I'm hungry. I've never learned. And I always buy things that always go bad because I'm really the only person who eats the food I buy. Like I just threw out a whole yogurt. I don't know why I buy yogurt. Yogurt really hurts my stomach. Remember when I said Uber Eats saves my life? Uber Eats ruined my life today. I um, ordered a quesadilla. They always, always give salsa and sour cream on the side. They didn't give you, they didn't give me salsa or sour cream. So I had a dry ass quesadilla because they didn't even put it inside. And then I ordered a Diet Coke because I was really craving a Diet Coke. And they gave me 
a real Pepsi. I didn't get really like my taco craving fix. So I'm making tacos. I'm not gonna eat it tonight. I'm sorry for all you vegans or vegetarians. That was kind of gross. I'm gonna just have it ready. And then if Darren wants to eat, he can eat. My favorite tacos are these. If you like any other tacos, then you're weird. <laughs> I'm kidding. I remember once I went to my old friend's house and her mom like didn't put taco seasoning in the meat. And I was like, what the heck is this? Like you have gotta put taco seasoning in your meat to have some tacos. This is what I grew up on, one of the five meals my mom made. I'm at the mall, I just went to the post office and I'm at the mall because I want to buy a cookbook from Cass Loignon. She lives in Quebec City and her food always looks so good and she released a cookbook. It's in French, so that's gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday, in case you're wondering. I'm just an outfit repeater. Alright, so I just got home. I'm saying a hi to the little man. Hi. He's a uh, quite quite the excited little thing. This goes on for like 20 minutes after I get home every time, even if I just run to the store. Hi, okay, we're gonna go on a walk, but I wanna tell them what I got. <laughs> Okay, so you guys know I went and got that cookbook and for dinner I decided I'm making, this lighting is awful, for dinner I decided I'm making Cobb salad because I wanted a salad and it just looked really good and I wanted to try one of her recipes. So I went to the grocery store and got this stuff for Cobb salad. The issue with me is that everything for this damn salad cost me $60. Now. I better be having freaking Cobb salad for months, spending that much. And then at Zara, I picked up two really casual things. This is the cookbook. I picked up Ali one. And then at Zara, I picked up two sweaters. I'm actually gonna put one on now. I picked up this one, it's just like a plain black. I like, I picked these up because I like wearing big oversized sweaters with leggings and I don't like when they go in at the bottom and both of these don't go in. I actually didn't try this one on because I saw it when I was running out so I'm going to try it on now and then I got this one which is a really nice color. This goes really well with the, <laughs> these shoes, um, this color because it has, the shoes have these this color like running through it. I got both in a size large. I'm gonna go cook dinner and I'll show you guys the finished result. I realized that I need to get um, like a hand mixer because I'm gonna have to make the dressing like by hand <laughs> and I need like an electric mixer. Anyways, it's okay. I'll figure it out but I'm definitely gonna have a glass of wine because I just feel like I need it. This is the recipe that I'm going to be making in case you guys are wondering. Um, and have my wine. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna cook the chicken. Oh my God, I'm a mess. I'm gonna cook the chicken first and get everything ready. And then maybe I'll remember to show, <laughs> show you how I put it together on camera. If not, I'll show you the finished product for sure. Okay, so I made the dressing in the same bowl because I didn't want to make a huge mess. So here's the dressing. It was Everything was really, really easy. It just took long like preparing everything, but it looks delicious. The dressing is delicious. So this is a huge salad. I know I'm not going to eat it all, so I think I'm going to mix it up and then add, like, take out my portion and then add the dressing just so it doesn't get all soggy if I want to like keep it on the side. But basically, there's turkey, bacon, chicken, Hard-boiled egg, which I've never had in a salad, feta, corn, tomatoes, and then green onion, and obviously lettuce. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. It was really fun and easy to make, and this is delish. There's some blue cheese in there too. I'm a huge fan of blue cheese. Guys, I did some damage, but I'm so full. Hi everyone, welcome to my closet, my closet in my closet. So here is my entire Ikea thing. My entire closet was in a whole mess just because I got so much stuff. Then I went on the trip, then I came back from the trip, but throwing things I have, I don't really enter this closet just because this is like my storage closet. Like I have this side here, 
all that and honestly i don't wear this close just because i don't see it i want to go through that entire like i don't know what i did before i had that entire ikea thing i really don't because i have so much shit going through all of my stuff right now i'm going to give away a lot of stuff sell a lot of stuff on my poshmark so i'll, I'll do my best to leave that link down below if, if i don't leave it down below remind me yell at me but basically i have to go through like all of my stuff that's my plan for the day. Get everything organized. I want to put a shelf with shoes here because I don't have enough room for my shoes and all my bags. Like, I'm, I'm this is my background, so I'm trying to keep it very organized. But this is a mess, and I want it to be more conducive to helping me put outfits together because right now it's just like it gives me so much anxiety. So my plan right now is to go through this, take out all my winter jackets, and like put um, stuff to store back there. These are all of my kind of like winter sweaters. I go through phases where I really like them they always sound like a really good idea but I never like wearing them if I'm being honest and then these are my fancier dresses and then all of these are like my fancier dresses my nicer tops I have to go through all of those jeans I think I'm gonna be giving a lot of them away and like in this drawer I don't even know what this is like I don't I don't know what's in here like what is this flowers I bought a new storage unit for my office and I think I'm gonna put what I have in my office right against here this leads to it's locked it leads to my bathroom I never use it all right so it's been a few hours I've made some progress I've gone through all of that I organized them there although now I'm realizing I can't really reach them however I was running out of space for my shoes and so I put this in here for now I was gonna put it outside in my actual closet. I thought it would just look a little bit too cluttered. I feel like it's just a little bit more organized. I'm gonna put some stuff up there. I have all of this to go through, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I now know what I have in here, which is always a good thing, hey guys. I know I look crazy. I just showered. I've been, I woke up late today. What the hell is that? I woke up late today um, and then I started working on CNC right away because I'm going to the post office. I go to the post office to bring packages um maybe three or four times a week i need to go because it's it's wednesday it's, it's the day to go so i want to show you guys what i did um in the closet so this is basically the final thing that i did yesterday so you can see it doesn't look the absolute best it just really helps me a lot um all these sweaters went through i gave away like two big garbage bags of clothes to my friends and family this i need to keep relatively clean and organized because it's my background um and then i have this here with all the new clothes that i need to show you guys and a few jackets so i got a new cabinet from ikea for the office however i paid for next day delivery and then the next day they called me and they're like we only have half of it can we deliver the other half on monday and then they called me monday or sat saturday or sunday and they were like, we're only going to be able to deliver it the 22nd, but it's in stock at Ikea. And then I was on hold for two hours with Ikea yesterday. So I'm not, I'm not a happy camper. This is quite, hey. It's just been crazy with Signe. The new Signe collection is launching early November. There's been so many delays with our supplier for that because uh, it's so frustrating. Like the process time of when we had, we started working on this collection in June and it, we're only getting the cases in tomorrow. They're supposed to come. I'm gonna show you the pumpkins we carved even though mine's decaying. I've been really loving the Summer Fridays jet lag mask because my skin has been so dry. I always forget how dry my skin gets in the winter months, but my skin has been so dry. So I've been really liking that, although I think it might have given me a rash around my eye. Has anyone else experienced that? Don't mind my huge mess of clothes on the floor. So this is what I'm wearing today. I wanted to really wear my Louis Vuitton boots. I've been really into all black, so I wanted to make them the center of this outfit and then i have a pretty basic outfit on on the top so this is a knit sweater from zara that was actually a little bit bigger but it shrunk in the wash i'm not mad at it because i do prefer it this length and a little bit smaller and these are really old leggings from zara because these boots are a little bit fancier i didn't want to just throw them on with like a pair of lulus freezing in montreal so i'm bringing this moto jacket that i got two years ago at h&m 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 Actually, I lied. I haven't worn this bag yet this year, and I feel like it goes well with the boots, so I'm going to wear 
that bag. And then for my earrings, I have these new earrings from CNC. It's a little pearl. You guys will get to see me wear all of our new pieces of jewelry in this video. Good morning, you guys. So last night I washed my hair and I went to sleep. Today, I'm finally in the mood to film. So I'm gonna film a uh, get ready with me Q&A a little bit later on in the day. I want the questions to be juicy. So by the time you see this, that will probably be up. I did something really stupid, you guys. I, when I carved my pumpkins, so yesterday, um, Darren and I carved pumpkins on Sunday. This was his, it's like wilting away. <laughs> And this is mine. By the way, if you are at Winners, this candle brand is my favorite. This one smells so good. It's sand and fog. This one smells like winter from Bath and Body Works. Um, I had a lot of dirt on mine, so I sprayed it, sprayed it with Windex. And it's decaying the damn pumpkin, which I should have known. I don't know why I was like, spray it with Windex. Hi, Leo. Oh, let me show you guys the new stuff I got. So, you guys know I got this fireplace from Wayfair, this TV from Costco. My couch is from um, Wayfair as well. I'll link it all down below. My carpet is from Amazon. I don't recommend getting a black carpet. I got this table from Wayfair as well. Oh, you guys saw I painted the place. It looks so good. So I also hung a black curtain rod. I got these sheer curtains from winners uh, it looks better when this is up but if i lift that up it'll be easy to find where i live i also got this from winners uh they have them on sale this is the v8 they also had the v6 for like 100 bucks this was 300 bucks and oh my god it is so much better i used to have like a random little vacuum that i had to plug in and this is so much better i want to get um like a nice painting to go there because it's a lot of white like there is a ton of white so I want to get a nice painting to go there and then like a stand-up lamp but I'm very picky with art like that's why that was here I was testing the size I'm very picky with art and I don't know what I want to put here hello can I help you there's a plant that's gonna go here or I might put it in that corner I don't know it's a fake plant this is the um, pot for it it's from Art of Planto it's they're Montreal based they're really good fake plants. I know myself, I'm not a plant person. I don't have a green thumb, so I was not about to buy a whole plant. I don't even know where I can even buy those big plants. I didn't even look for them because I wanted a fake one. New website's gonna go live with our new collection, which is a bunch of earrings. I'll tell you guys the updates that we did. There's not many updates. It just looks a lot more professional. This is our website right now. Like, I really like it. It's just very basic. And like, if you go here, of the day necklaces but the issue with Squarespace is that if I put something on like the earrings page I can't put this Leo stop it I can't put the same product on like deal of the day page or the new collection page I don't know why they would do this because that's like a basic thing that I feel like many people need that's something I've been really wanting to do so this is our new website that will go live with our new collection so i love this front page and then there is some earrings the deal of the week so that's our front first page and then if you come here you can go into earrings and what i love about this is that like i can also put this on like a new collection page or a deal of the week page like for example deal of the week is the gatsby ring it's on sale for $22, originally $30, so there's a 27% off. Also, in this corner here, you can change your currency. I know that was a big thing for some people. I think it's going to be a game changer for us, and yeah, that's all I have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and... What was I even doing? Oh, I was doing some things with our suppliers. I'm going to wait for some more questions to come in, then I'm going to go do my hair, and then I'm going to go film, because look at this. Look how cute this sweater is from misguided it has like a corset bottom i just finished filming my q a went well but my hair is really freaking pissing me off i was really craving some pasta but i know pasta is not the best thing for me i'm gonna have some of this apple juice from quinn's farm no quinn farm it is the best it's where i got the pumpkins it's where we went pumpkin picking this is so good. 
Yes. This apple juice, freshly squeezed apple juice, is so much better, like a billion times better than regular apple juice. I don't know where all my cups go. They like disappear. They disappear. I think my like uh, dishwasher is like eating them because I have like four glasses and I had I used to have too many. They did not fit in my thing. Apple juice is so good. I think my favorite juice is grape juice and then apple juice. Not that you guys care. Here's a little hack for you though. If you guys like the um, caramel apple spice drink, which is basically just like hot apple juice with caramel syrup in it, so good. I can only get a small because it makes my tummy hurt, but they have skinny syrups at winners and there's one called pumpkin caramel and if you heat up apple juice that the freshly squeezed apple juice and put some of that pumpkin caramel syrup in tastes exactly like it i am going to right now start editing the video i filmed today and then i'm going to work more on cnc i want to get all of the website done um before we launch our christmas collection and the christmas collection is going live at the mid in mid november so you guys will have enough time to get it all of the pieces, um, if there's something you want, I suggest planning ahead. When things are handmade, we have a 10 business day shipping policy because we obviously have to hand make it. And then some people ordered a little too close to Christmas and it didn't arrive in time. So to stop that, we are only selling pieces we already have ready to ship. So stock is going to be way more limited. We're getting new packaging for Christmas. We're getting a bunch of new pieces for Christmas, a new website for Christmas. Um, so everything is coming together. That's what I've been doing. Like honestly, the past few days, it's nonstop that, but I love it. I honestly really like website designing. Like, I don't know if that's like a pattern of mine I just really like it another thing I have to say is that <clears throat> TikTok has taken over my life I downloaded this app as a freaking joke and jokes on me because I'm obsessed with it I could spend hours scrolling through that freaking page oh my god if you haven't downloaded TikTok don't because you will become obsessed with it and uh, I don't post on it or anything I just like literally when I'm bored even when I have stuff to do I'm just sitting there scrolling and I can get why well, can watch for hours it's oh my nuts. god you guys I came downstairs this fucking pumpkin is like completely rotten get rid of that why did that happen is that because it's inside and they're supposed to go outside I've never seen a pumpkin do that before is that really the Windex that did that Oh my god, it's everywhere. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I made the best lasagna recipe. Oh my god, you guys, you don't even understand. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that lasagna. It was really fast and easy. Well, it really, wasn't really the fastest lasagna ever, but it wasn't hard at all. And honestly, I'm not kidding. It's the best lasagna I've ever had. Like, at all the restaurants and everything, it's the best I've had. My mom came for dinner, and she said it was the best she had. And then I also made this cake that my boyfriend loves. I had to make, like, a chocolate sauce for the top, and I just wasn't sure what I was going for. But 700 years later, I think I finally got it. My first time making it, and I made a huge mess. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm back on track. I'm posting. I'm going to try to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you and I'll see you guys back here next time.